The FTC in New York AG Cracking Down on Herbal Supplements, by John Timmer. Today, the Attorney General of New York sent cease and desist letters to a set of major chain stores, asking them to stop sales of a number of herbal supplements that contain contaminants, lack the promised ingredient, or both. His actions follow those of the Federal Trade Commission, which is going after the makers of the green coffee bean extract that was promoted by TV's popular Dr. Oz show. The two cases have different origins. The New York one dates back to 2013, when researchers started performing DNA tests on a set of herbal remedies obtained in stores. These showed that many popular remedies didn't actually contain the species mentioned on the label and often contain extraneous plant matter. In some cases from plants that can also provoke significant biological responses. Further reading, DNA barcoding shows that the contents of herbal pills are often not as advertised. That study helpfully identified DNA sequences that could be used to specifically detect the presence of specific species of medicinal herbs. The NY Attorney General's office followed up on this approach, obtaining own brand products from stores such as GNC, Target, Walgreen, and Walmart. The announcement says the investigation is ongoing, so more may be named later. These products were subjected to DNA testing and again came up short, with Walmart at the bottom. Only 4% of its samples had evidence of the plan listed on the label. The overall rate here was just 21% and many others contain contaminants, some of the products involved included echinacea, ginseng, St. John's wort, and ginkgo biloba. See the announcement for a detailed list of the supplements and results, the AG's office is requesting that the companies involved stop selling these products and provide it with detailed information on their manufacture and sourcing. For its part, the herbal industry told NBC News that DNA testing is not appropriate for herbal supplements as processing them into pills may destroy the molecule. The FTC's actions date back to May of last year but gained in profile thanks to the grilling that Dr. Mehmet Oz, host of a popular television show, received from the U.S. Senate when he was called before the Subcommittee on Consumer Protection. Among the topics, green coffee bean extract, which Oz praised on a show. Late last month, the FTC filed a request for a permanent injunction that lays out how an herbal supplement company used Oz's show to promote its business. For example, the filing states that employees of a company called Genesis Today got an invite to appear on Oz's show to discuss black raspberry as a top cancer-fighting supplement. At the time, the company sold no raspberry-based products. Within two days, it owned the domain pureblackraspberry.com and had placed a bulk order for black raspberry extract. Once the episode was taped, the company bought Google AdWords for the product, including Black Raspberry's Cancer and Cancer Cures. A nearly identical process happened when the company employee was asked to come on the show and discuss green coffee bean extract. In this case, even prior to the appearance, Oz and the company exchanged drafts of a script of the appearance, with Oz's producers calling the extract a miracle, and magic. Genesis today inserted a phrase into the script that suggested people do a web search for it. It then bought the corresponding Edwards. Although Oz isn't a defendant in the action, which targets the unfair or deceptive practices of Genesis today, its subsidiaries, and its employees, the suit makes it clear that his show effectively, if perhaps inadvertently, acted as a marketing arm that allowed these practices to affect a much larger segment of the public than they would have otherwise. While these actions don't seem to presage any actions by Congress that would bring the health claims associated with these products under the purview of a regulatory agency, they do at least suggest that governments are now trying to limit some of the legally questionable behavior of the companies behind.